Approaching short. <clears throat> Roger, I got that one deep throat. The eagle has landed. Tweety is out of his cage. <laughs> He's flying over the cuckoo's nest. Three minutes till condor. <laughs> Who are you? Dicky Peterson, chair above justice. Here to protect and serve. Well, the secret service will take care of this kid. The last thing we need is some guardian angel troop hanging around here. I am not a guardian angel, sir, nor do I care to be, unless they start returning my phone calls, but fast. I'm gonna have to step behind that line. Go undercover, mingle with the crowd. Roger! I know this is against chair of regulations, but, uh, you're a secret service. Think I can trust you? Woodchuck? It's my code name. Use it sparingly, and I'll in an emergency. You are going to eat that, aren't you? Yeah. OK, I'll be right there. Unauthorized disposal of classified documents. I'm going to have to put him on report. Also, leaving his post, two more demerits. Looks like I'm going to have to secure this perimeter myself. Chris Henning! Sorry about that, miss. Merely a trained reflex reaction triggered by potential terrorist activity. For all I know, that hot dog could have been a Scud missile and it's Bundy mobile launcher. You are an idiot! <laughs> Sticks and stones may break my bones, miss, but names are not going to put that hot dog back in your mouth. Sure, go ahead, get another one, I'll do it again. Situation resolved. All right, everybody, surprise inspection. The second most powerful man in the entire world it's gonna be by here any second. And I swear by this trademark yellow beret that every man, woman, and child in my sector will pass muster. Hey! News flash, 60s are over. Get a haircut, transvestite! <laughs> Suck in your gut! <laughs> I better check into home base. Woodchuck to Gray Squirrel, Woodchuck to Gray Squirrel. Come in, Gray Squirrel. Dickie? Is that you, Dickie? Yes, Gray Squirrel, it's Woodchuck. Is it Woodchuck? What are these magazines I found under your bed? Uh, merely reference material for the uh, scenario file of my Cherubs of Justice crime lab. No, it's not. It's filthy smut. When you get home, I'm going to take you over my bed. <laughs> uh, uh, you break it up, Gray Squirrel. Maintain radio silence. The vice president. Did you 
Did you see the way he looked at me? Did anybody see that? I think we had a moment there. What's that guy doing? The vice president's in trouble! Sorry, I didn't see you. Who's in? I was aiming for the trash can. I'll bet you were a taxi driver. <laughs> bet you didn't count on Dickie Peterson, human shield, getting between you and the vice president, did you? Unfortunately, I don't have the authority to detain you at this moment. But I promise you, mister, one day it'll be just you and me. And then, boom! <laughs> Death touch. <laughs> Woodcheck to Gray Squirrel, Woodcheck to Gray Squirrel. Evil plan aborted. Tweety is back in his cage, Sylvester once again has been thwarted. Judging by the length of my shadow, it is about 1800 hours, uh, which means it's time for a cure of chow. So uh, get those ding dongs ready. I'm coming to Great squirrel, it's locked. <laughs> I'm quite sure donations will be generous. <laughs> well, thank you, Mrs. Beaumont. I just hope we raise enough money to keep the Opera House open. Oh, I'm certain we will, my dear. Unless, of course, there's some unforeseen disaster. <laughs> you have a magic time, everybody! And it's good you! I'm ready to party! Now, where's Oprah? I'm sorry, but I think you're a bit confused. This is the opera. What? You mean there ain't gonna be no women on here talking about their panties possessed by the devil? Who are you? I give you a hint. I'm hip, I'm slick, and all the women love my G.I. Joe the Kung Fu Kid. <laughs> well, uh, you'll have to excuse us. I think we see somebody over there we know. Hmm. Well, bone souffle moment the day. Oh, my God, it's that idiot Frenchie. Um, excuse me, I have to freshen up. Janet! Hey, Janet, this is my Frenchie, baby. How you doing, Mama? What are you doing here? Well, don't be so El Divide. You won't be in front of me, you know. Remember when you didn't learn about You say, close your eyes when I ask you for a piece of sugar. You say, close your eyes, count it 100. Yes. Oh, my, you was gone. If don't worry, you dropped a little something on the line in my flow. I took it down to the police station, had your fingerprints dusted. They gave me a lot of money number, I found you down here. I just wanted to return these to you, baby. Oh. I love the one that wears safari drawers. You know, I got some on right now. Want to see? No. Travis, Travis. 
I don't believe I've met your friend. He's not my friend. That's right. There's much more than that. We go together like toes and Jane. <laughs> well, don't call them. My name is Lennon, but all my friends call me Frenchie. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Frenchie, let me spell it out for you. Mrs. Beaumont is the CEO of a top SNL. Yes, but I'm out tonight for a little R and R. Can't go in for Oh, that's right. I got B.O. from the local YMCA, and I'm out for a little teenage. Oh, well, I've never been so insulted, Norma. Well, she sure got enough A. Frenchie, I have something very important to do. Mm -hmm. Somewhere else. Uh, you stay here. Just. Stay. Don't follow me. Don't move. Just stay. Whatever you say, mon petit commode. Some frog sir? Mmm, look like mon doo doo to me. It's goose liver pate. Oh, great, man. These chitlin and hot sauce will go with that just fine. No bad than I am. This is nice. Hey, Zorro. You know I wore that same Halloween, that costume last Halloween? When first played down to Mr. Rick's Sugar Shack, show sure did want to confront his single and didn't even have to get my T-shirt wet. Look at all these people. Janet! Hey, Janet. You looking mighty housing dolls. Look like you missed me, baby. You know, in my uh, Harvard days, I once shot six three-pointers in a row. Mm -hmm. mm, very impressive. Well, last New Year's Eve, I put 12 Reese's Pieces up my nose, shot them into a Dixie cup from Kroger Room. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, intermission is over. Please take your seats. Oh, for it's part of time. Tonight's program. <laughs> 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 you people can afford, I'm going to double my donation to yeah. see yeah. this doesn't happen again. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're Mrs. Never. Oh. <laughs> Jonas, keep your fiancé French fry singing. <laughs> Wearing real fur become a hassle? Are animal rights activists bringing you down? Then say hello to the Clear Conscience Fur Farm and Outlet Store. Here at Clear Conscience, 90% of our pelts come from rodents that die of old age. Right here in our own luxurious rodent retirement home. 
The rest of our helps come to us thanks to Mother Nature. For instance, this unlucky little fellow was struck down by lightning. While these little guys were struck by severe animal depression and mass suicide. So the next time you have a run-in with an animal rights activist, flash him the label on the inside of your saber. Clear conscience. Blue skin, no hide. Before it's time. <laughs> Hey, can I help you? Hiya, Johnny. Uh, the name's Jimmy. Jimmy, Johnny, Joey. What's in a name? Anyway, give me a double dip, black and white. And... Hey, Johnny. Don't forget the cherry. <laughs> the name's Jimmy. Sure got strong arms, Johnny. I bet no one pushes you around. No. Sure don't. All right. Sprinkles on there. Ta-da. Cherry. Maybe a dollar. A dollar? Well, I thought it would cost a quarter. Oh, fiddlesticks, I just spent my last buck at the picture show. All right, I'll tell you what, just give me the quarter. Give me the rest when you come back, okay? Oh, Johnny, you're the greatest. I was nothing, a nobody, a bum in the street, but you came along and picked me up, dusted me off, and turned me into something special. I'm yours, Johnny, forever. Look, lady, thanks a lot, all right? Just um, enjoy your ice cream, bring me my change when you can, all right? Oh, Johnny, I could never repay you. Not after what you've done for me. Oh, Johnny, the two of us will be great together. We'll be thick as thieves, like birds of a feather, two peas in a pod. We'll board the next train to Niagara. Train to Niagara? A train to Niagara, slow boat to China. Oh, Johnny, I'd go to hell in a handbasket with you. Look, lady, that's enough. Hey, yo, yo, Larry! Larry! I'm gonna take my break now, man. I'm out of here. Lady, there's help around. Seek it. Wait! Johnny, don't go. I've got the double dip blues. It really makes no difference which comb that shoes. Please hold the sprinkles. You see, I don't think I'll ever, ever lose this double dip of rock and roll blues. I had a fat long. Over the news I'm hoping that one day I'll make a new Sunday Set them up spoons for two Until then I'll be double dip blue <laughs> So long, Johnny See you in my dream over here, my little Zygon. <laughs> flatulate, flatulate, don't be redundant. <laughs> now, you see, when a man liposucks a woman's uh, mammogram, <laughs> it is the titillating expression between lubrication of two secreting adults, you did? Yeah, yeah, a pro trick. Chitty, chitty, bang, bangs like frosted money <laughs> No, 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 it's, it's much more mucozoid than that, my little genophilia. It's the uh, 
adolescent Dukakis that is calculated, you understand, by the insane or uh, Hussein, depending on the confrontation forthwith. Furthermore, post-taste, post-office, creating a mediocre type arsenic uh, uh, um, treatyology, you understand? Am I being cruex? Uh, the center. Uh-huh. And most spectacular off-ramp. Uh-huh. But sometimes I'm def- defla- defecated. Defecated. Right. By my misfortune. Uh-huh. <laughs> that's, that's very antiseptic, my little hors d'oeuvre. But do not homogenize the Neutrogena or Gina, depending on the woman. Surveillance. Oh, that's deep. That's deep. I, that's my son there. You radiated mucho ambivalence, as the French people say. Time's up. Let's go, Oswald. Hey, remember, don't constipate your mother's hemorrhoid. <laughs> Fornicate my redemption. I recede to my own bowels. Approaching short. <clears throat> Roger, I got that one deep throat. The eagle has landed. Tweety is out of his cage. He's flying over the cuckoo's nest. Three minutes till condor. <laughs> Who are you? 
D.K. Peterson, Chair of Justice, here to protect and serve. Well, the Secret Service will take care of this kid. The last thing we need is some guardian angel troop hanging around here. I am not a guardian angel, sir, nor do I care to be, unless they start returning my phone calls, but fast. I'm gonna have to step behind that line. Go undercover, mingle with the crowd. Roger! I know this is against chair of regulations, but uh, you're a secret service. Think I can trust you? Woodchuck? It's my code name. Use it sparingly, and I'm in an emergency. You are going to eat that, aren't you? Yeah. OK, I'll be right there. Unauthorized disposal of classified documents. I'm going to have to put him on report. Also, leaving his post, two more demerits. Looks like I'm going to have to secure this perimeter myself. Merely a trained reflex reaction triggered by potential terrorist activity. For all I know, that hot dog could have been a Scud missile and its bunny mobile launcher. You are an idiot! Sticks and stones may break my bones, miss, but names are not going to put that hot dog back in your mouth. Sure, go ahead, get another one, I'll do it again. Situation resolved. All right, everybody, surprise inspection. The second most powerful man in the entire world is going to be by here any second. And I swear by this trademark yellow beret that every man, woman, and child in my sector will pass muster. Hey! News flash. 60s are over. Get a haircut, transvestite! Suck in your gut! I better check into home base. Woodchuck to Gray Squirrel, Woodchuck to Gray Squirrel. Come in, Gray Squirrel. Dickie? Is that you, Dickie? Yes, Gray Squirrel, it's Woodchuck. This is Woodchuck. What are these magazines I found under your bed? Uh, merely reference material for the uh, scenario file of my Cherubs of Justice crime lab. No, it's not. It's filthy smut. When you get home, I'm going to take you over my bed. <laughs> uh, uh, you break it up, Gray Squirrel. Maintain radio silence. The vice president. Did you see the way he looked at me? Did anybody see that? I think we had a moment there. What's that guy doing? Vice President's in trouble! Sorry, I didn't see you. Who's he? I was aiming for the trash can. I bet you were a taxi driver. <laughs> bet you didn't count on Dickie Peterson, human shield, getting between you and the Vice President, did you? Unfortunately, I don't have the authority to detain you at this moment. But I promise you, mister, one day it'll be just you and me. And then, boom! <laughs> Death touch. <laughs> Woodchuck to Gray Squirrel, Woodchuck to Gray Squirrel. Evil plan aborted. Tweety is back in his cage, Sylvester once again has been thwarted. Judging by the length of my shadow, it is about 1800 hours, uh, which means it's time for a chair of chow. So uh, get those ding dongs ready. I'm coming to Great Squirrel, it's locked. <laughs> Press 1. 
If you are being assaulted, press 2. If you are being robbed, press 3. If you are being robbed in a single family home, press 1. If you are being robbed in an apartment, press 2. If the perpetrator is still outside your apartment, press 1. If the perpetrator has entered your apartment, press 2. pounds with identifiable tattoos, press 1. If he has no tattoos, press 2. If you didn't hear your specific situation clearly, this tape will repeat. If you are witnessing a murder, press 1. You've done a wonderful job organizing the recital, Janice. I'm quite sure donations will be generous. <laughs> well, thank you, Mrs. Beaumont. I just hope we raise enough money to keep the Opera House open. Oh, I'm certain we will, my dear. Unless, of course, there's some unforeseen disaster. <laughs> well, the magic time, everybody! I'm sorry, but I think you're a bit confused. This is the opera. What? You mean there ain't gonna be no women on here talking about their panties possessed by the devil? Who are you? I give you a hint. I'm hip, I'm slick, and all the women love my G.I. Joe the Kung Fu. Book. <laughs> well, uh, you'll have to excuse us. I think we see somebody over there we know. Hmm. Well, bone souffle moon the day. Oh, my God, it's that idiot Frenchie. Um, excuse me, I have to freshen up. Janet! Hey, Janet, it's my Frenchie, baby. How you doing, Mama? What are you doing here? Well, don't be so El Divide. You won't be even proud of me, you know. Remember when you didn't learn to write, you say, close your eyes when I ask you for a piece of sugar. You say, close your eyes, count it 100. Yes. Oh, my, eyes, you was gone. If don't worry, you dropped a little something on the line in my flow. I took it down to the police station, had your fingerprints dusted. They gave me a lot of money number, I found you down here. I just wanted to return these to you, baby. I love the woman that wears safari drawers. You know I got some on right now, want to see? No! Travis, Travis. I don't believe I've met your friend. He's not my friend. That's right, there's much more than that. We go together like toes and Jane. <laughs> well, so far do. My name is Lennon, but all my friends call me Frenchie. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Frenchie, let me spell it out for you. Mrs. Beaumont is the CEO of a top SNL. Yes, but.